Could the popular diet trend of intermittent fasting actually be putting your heart at risk? Recent headlines have sparked concern, suggesting a popular fasting method might dramatically increase the risk of cardiovascular death. As health enthusiasts, the general public and patients seeking better health, understanding the science behind these claims is crucial for making informed decisions about your well-being. Let's explore what we know, what we don't, and how to navigate this complex topic. Intermittent fasting, if, isn't about what you eat but when you eat. It involves cycling between periods of eating and voluntary fasting. This dietary pattern has gained immense popularity for its potential health benefits. There are several common methods of intermittent fasting. Alternate day fasting involves alternating between days of normal eating and days of significant calorie restriction, often around 500 calories. The 5 to 2 diet means eating normally for 5 days a week and restricting calories on the other two non-consecutive days. Time-restricted eating tray, is perhaps the most popular form. This involves limiting your daily eating window to a specific number of hours, such as 8, 10, or 12 hours, and fasting for the remaining hours of the day. This method often leads to a natural reduction in overall calorie intake. Proponents of intermittent fasting often highlight a range of potential health advantages. Many individuals report successful weight loss when practicing IF, which can contribute to overall health improvements. Studies suggest IF may help improve insulin sensitivity, which is beneficial for managing blood sugar levels, particularly for those with or at risk of type 2 diabetes. Research also indicates that intermittent fasting could help reduce inflammation in the body. Chronic inflammation is linked to various diseases, including heart disease. Some studies have shown improvements in traditional cardiovascular risk factors like cholesterol levels and blood pressure with intermittent fasting, at least in the short term. Animal studies have explored the deeper cellular effects of fasting. They suggest that caloric restriction can activate processes like autophagy, a cellular cleanup mechanism that removes damaged components. This has led to theories that fasting might offer benefits beyond simple weight loss, potentially impacting cellular health and longevity. Despite the reported benefits, a recent study presented at the American Heart Association's EPI Lifestyle Scientific Sessions in Chicago in March 2024 raised significant concerns. This study, presented as a poster, analyzed data from over 20,000 adults in the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey NHANES. It compared eating patterns to long-term health outcomes over a median follow-up of eight years. The controversial findings suggested that people who limited their eating window to less than 8 hours per day had a 91% higher risk of death from cardiovascular disease compared to those who ate over a 12 to 16 hour period. This finding specifically related to the popular 8 hour time restricted eating method. The study also noted that the increased risk was not observed for death from any cause, only cardiovascular death. It's important to understand the context of this finding. This was a preliminary result presented at a scientific conference, not a peer-reviewed, published study. Poster presentations are valuable for sharing early data and generating discussion, but they require further rigorous review and validation before conclusions can be widely accepted. The study relied on self-reported dietary data, which can be subject to inaccuracies. Dr. Ali Jawari, an assistant professor of medicine at Washington University specializing in cardiometabolic diseases, provides valuable perspective on these findings. He emphasizes that time-restricted eating is a relatively new area of research, especially concerning long-term effects. Dr. Jawari notes that while some studies show short-term benefits on risk factors, the long-term impact on actual cardiovascular events or mortality is not well established. Dr. Jawari points out that the recent study's findings are surprising and warrant further investigation. He stresses that this single study, particularly in its preliminary form, should not be the sole basis for making drastic changes to dietary habits. It highlights the critical need for more robust, long-term randomized controlled trials to truly understand the effects of different intermittent fasting patterns on cardiovascular health outcomes. 
He also reminds us that correlation does not equal causation. The study identified an association, but it doesn't prove that the 8-hour eating window caused the increased risk. There could be other factors or lifestyle differences among the groups that contributed to the outcome. For example, the study noted that participants with the 8-hour eating window were more likely to be younger, male, and smokers, and had lower BMI and higher consumption of processed meats. These confounding factors need careful consideration. While intermittent fasting may offer benefits for some, it is not suitable or safe for everyone. Certain populations should exercise extreme caution or avoid if altogether. This includes pregnant and breastfeeding women, as adequate and consistent nutrition is vital during these periods. Individuals with a history of eating disorders should absolutely avoid intermittent fasting, as it can exacerbate restrictive behaviors and unhealthy relationships with food. People with type 1 diabetes or those with type 2 diabetes taking insulin or certain medications need careful medical supervision if considering if, due to the risk of hypoglycemia, low blood sugar. Children and adolescents are still growing and developing and generally require consistent nutrient intake. The elderly, especially those with underlying health conditions or who are frail, may also be at higher risk for adverse effects. Anyone with chronic medical conditions, particularly heart disease, kidney disease, or liver disease, should consult their doctor before attempting any form of fasting. Navigating the world of diet and health can be confusing, especially with conflicting information. The key is to make informed decisions based on the best available evidence and your individual health status. Intermittent fasting has shown potential benefits for some metabolic markers and weight management in short-term studies. However, the recent preliminary findings regarding cardiovascular risk underscore the need for caution and further research. It highlights that what might seem beneficial in the short term could have different long-term consequences. Diet is highly personal, and what works for one person may not work for another. Focusing on overall healthy eating patterns, regardless of the timing, remains paramount for cardiovascular health. This includes a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats, while limiting processed foods, sugary drinks, and excessive saturated trans fats. Regular physical activity, managing stress, adequate sleep, and avoiding smoking are also fundamental pillars of heart health. Intermittent fasting is a dietary approach with potential benefits, but also potential risks that are still being explored, particularly concerning long-term cardiovascular health. The recent controversial findings serve as an important reminder that more research is needed before definitive conclusions can be drawn about its long-term safety for everyone. As you consider your dietary choices, prioritize public awareness and health education. Stay informed about emerging research, but critically evaluate the source and context of the information. Do not make significant dietary changes based solely on preliminary findings or anecdotal evidence. Your health is your most valuable asset. Before starting intermittent fasting or making any significant changes to your diet, consult with your doctor or a registered dietitian. They can help you understand the potential benefits and risks based on your individual health history, current medications, and lifestyle. Make informed decisions that support your overall well-being and long-term health goals. Stay healthy, stay informed.